Okay, so back into Expression Web, back into the master DWT template. Remember, that's where we do all our, our work and all our changes, and then if we want to preview it, we make sure to look in the default page. Now, as I mentioned, this is a absolutely positioned div that he's created. So what we're going to do is we just have to make sure that we select the whole thing. So you notice as I'm clicking on this, I'm highlighting different things, right? What I want to do is look up here, right at the top here, and you see that? I want to highlight that. What that means is I'm highlighting uh, this whole this whole unit, this whole structure. So the UL number mark uh, SDDM, and I just grab it there when I see this thing up here, that four arrow thing, and I'm left clicking and I'm holding it and I'm dragging it right over here. That's I dragged it a little too high so I'm going to bring it down. Yeah, it's sometimes a little tricky to get it right where I want it. So I want it right there. So it's a pretty good position for there. And uh, now let's uh, save that. So it was a, because this is an absolutely positioned div I can just drag it and put it wherever I want to put it seems like it has an affinity to go right in that spot though so that's it actually fits just perfectly right there but let's go back to the default page and make sure we're doing this right so let's take a look at how that looks there we go now uh, one thing uh, here it looks more like almost like tabs and uh, if you like that look uh, you can just leave it like that if you don't like that look and you'd like to get rid of this thing in the middle right there, I, what we can do to get rid of that, I'll, let me show you, is uh, let's go back to our master DWT page here. Is uh, He also had another div in here. He has a what's called a clear div. And this generally pushes uh, floating boxes above it. And uh, so we can just get rid of this so um, this uh, so this didn't move when I moved this it stayed because it's its own separate div right so all I have to do is delete that and it goes away and I click uh, uh, save let's go back to the default page and take a look at what that looks like hit uh, F12 yeah, so that looks pretty good, I think. I uh, say allowed block content. Um, now the only thing missing right now is, of course, the color. We got to switch the colors, and we need those drop-down boxes. So now we get into the JavaScript part, which um, here's where um, I'm going to differ from him on some of the instructions. Here is um, what he recommends doing is just. Uh, when we come down here, so if we look back, we've added the HTML code, we've added the CSS code, and now here's our JavaScript code. Um, he recommends just putting it on the header tag, but uh, I think that gets to be too cluttered. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here uh, and uh, create a new page. So uh, we come to File, New, page, oops, file, new, file, page, click on that, and you can see right here where it says JavaScript, we're just going to double click that, and then we're going to save this, right click and save it as uh, menu. So just type in menu like that. You could put it in the header uh, like he says doing, but to me it just gets it awful messy looking. So let's, uh, we're going to come back to his website. This is uh, javascript-array.com. Okay, so what we do is we're going to take this and we're just going to highlight this. This is the JavaScript. Right click, copy, and bring this back to our JavaScript page that we made just for this. And we go paste. And there's our JavaScript. And we save that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our master DWT page. And we're going to scroll up to the header section. Here's the head, the beginning of the head, and that's the end of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some space in here. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to type a little bit of code. It's not that much. Is you just type it like this script uh, practically wants to write it for you source uh, and then we do uh, equal source equals menu dot js and then we're going to do language the language equals javascript and then we're going to do type and the type equals text slash javascript oh there it is right there and then we end with our script tag our closing script tag oops I'm sorry uh, one of those and then it finishes out for us. It basically wants to write it for you pretty much, so it works out pretty sweet, but that's all you need to write exactly. So just like you see it here, script source equals menus dot js language equals javascript type equals text slash forward slash javascript um, closing bracket and then script. And uh, what that does is that will bring this code into the page versus putting the code, cutting and pasting the code into this. But you could just do that if you wanted to. I just think it's uh, messier. So it goes save. Now what we should do, now we're getting to the fun part. So now we should be able to go to the default home page. Should be able to um, hit F12 on the keyboard. And we better have a functional menu now. So, oh, it asked me first. Um, you know, you've got to enable it um, first, allow block content. Uh, now we better see it. See? And there's our drop down menu. See? Just like that. So, um, what we want to do now is these color schemes. I don't know, maybe you might like this color scheme. Uh, but if you don't, um, we can. Let me show you how to take care of that. Like I mentioned before, all of that is in the CSS uh, style sheet here. We come down here, it's all in here. So you figure out, like, this is the list item, the anchor tag, that's the list item. Uh, but uh, it can be confusing if you don't know what all this stuff means yet. So the easier way to do it is just to uh, come over here into uh, the master DWT page. Remember, that's where you always want to make all your changes. And um, we'll come over here and we'll just. Uh, take advantage of this feature over here in the manage styles as we click on each one it shows you what we're looking at so this is what the hover feature right that's what it looks like that's the styles associated the colors and fonts associated with that this is for that this is for that the div itself the hover the anchor tag now this is the one we're looking at right now see so this is that color there and that color there, right? This is uh, the list item link. So this uh, this is responsible. This section of code, it even pops up a box. I can't, you know, you can see it when I drag my cursor over it. But it tells you all the things that are associated with that particular line of code. And it's the color that we want to get rid of, right? So, uh, so what we do is when we're highlighted on this, we'll right click and we go modify style and then uh, it shows you the font uh, the background if these are bolded that means that there's some code written there and this is the color that we want to get rid of right so we want to match this That's, this is pretty slick I think so we want to match we want to get rid of this color because it doesn't match we want to go through for all of that right um, for each one of these items we want to go through I'm just doing one of them for you